So we are first Lego League team number 4747, Mr. Roboto, and we have the Nature's Fury mat here for the robot game. We're, we put them all the mission models together today when the building instructions were le released at 9 o'clock. And we're going to try and talk about some of the different models that were built and have show you our guess on what we think each one will do. All right, what we're looking at now is the tree, the power line, and these, basically. Um, our idea is, is that this tree branch, if it comes down in any way, it cannot be on the power line. Like, it may be on the power line and you have to take it off. It may be knocked down from, like, the robot and um, just have to take it off or and it, the tree branch may not be on the power line is our idea and um, okay so we have this orange box with a house in it then we have the green box the green box with the Recycling logo on it, which means you could have to bring something to recycle it here. Then you have the yellow and the blue at the end of the runway. And then you have the pink with the evacuation route, which you would have might have to bring something here. And then there's the red here, which is the city, which you might have to bring like the ambulance or something here, and you might have to move this away from here into the house. And there's the purple, which you might have to put something in. The dark green, which you might have to put something else in. And then the blue, which you would you might have to put something else in. So you have four sections, four barriers right here. These three are all the same size. This one is like a brick house almost. It got destroyed. This is a roof and the side of the house that kind of got destroyed in nature's fury. This is like a sawmill almost with, they look like tree barks from the tree that's over there in the northwest corner. And then you have this wider piece right here that is a river bank. Don't know what you have to do with them exactly, but they could be obstacles that you have to get over or obstacles to get into the colored zones here. So we think this could be could be a generator that has to stay in this spot, and if you move it, you don't you might not lose points, but you get you might get more points for it being in the spot it started in. So if like if you move it, you get less points, and, but if it's in the same spot, you you'd get the max points you could get for that. You could also have the possibility of taking it from this point and moving it over to the where the power lines are to keep the power generated or even the house that you have here or any of the broken down houses. One. What we think is that these two, this ambulance and ambulance and this truck, you would either have to bring them to base or you would have to bring them out to one of these color zones somewhere. Because, and inside of this truck, these two things, there's one of these on one of the loops, and there's one of these on one of the loops. So maybe you have to bring these two back to the same place as the truck so that they are together. Two, one. For this, we believe it is some sort of floodgate, and you lift it up, and they go across, and then you have to capture them. and bring them back into your base. So, what we think this is, is we think that you have to push this until it's standing straight up. That's not straight up. Okay, so you have to push this until it's standing straight up, like this. But if you push it too far, it will fall down like that. So you have to get it in the exactly right position so that it's standing straight up. Alright, so there are two towers here, 
seven of these block the blocks are mobile or eight I mean yes eight and then um, one tower completely is mobile and uh, actually the whole support is mobile through wheels um, our ideas for this was um, that this could possibly be a touch penalty just each time you touch the robot part of the tower is taken away or um, you may have to set each block on to the tower and that's the idea so you have a house here and it's kind of on stilts as you it's kind of on stilts as you open it up and it rises up so when like a flood or something were to come through and water level rises then the house won't go underwater. It simply goes up and down by this beam, the red beam right here on an axle. <laughs> so you have these red pieces right here and each of them are identical. Each built identical. And all the outlines here on the runway are identical as well. And there's eight outlines and only four of these pieces. They could start all right next to each other in a special pattern, alternating. Or they could be randomized in the middle of the match. So as you grab them, they'll, you could, each run, you'll grab one and then the referee can randomize them each time you go out. Um. So for the plane mission, our team thought that it's going to act like a zip line, and the plane is going to be held up on this kind of crane sort of thing, and the crane will be positioned towards a corner of the map, so it'll be kind of lined up with the runway, and then you're you're going to have to take the string with your robot and hook it up to something. We're not, we're not positive that it is this, and then you're going to have to release this by pushing down on it. Go ahead, Ian. And it'll kind of swing across. All right. Um, for this mission, well, I believe it is a cooperative mission between the two tables because um, no matter which way it's hit, it this dial goes the same way. So maybe the dial has to get to the green or the blue or the orange. But um, the basic idea for this is to um, the idea of cooperativeness. Yeah. One. So we have a dog here and there's an outline on the map that it goes down into. Probably have to bring the dog back to base or it starts, it's, it'll start in this section right here and then go back to base. Then you have a cat that's over here too goes in the outline, has to go back to base with the dog, and then even a flashlight over here that can go back to base as well. If we move right here, right next to this house, you have a green person and there's a green spot on the map. If she starts here, then you probably will have to bring them back to base with all the other loops. Spin around over here. In between these two sections right here, you have a water jug. It starts here, and you'll probably have to bring it back to base, but you have a barrier here, and a barrier here, and only this little section right here to go through. So it might be difficult. You have a boom box and a radio here that start right there in the outline. Very small section that you'll have to bring back to base, but you have something in the way, so it might be a little difficult. You have another person here. Have to, starts in the specific outline according to the color on her and have to bring it back to base. You have a battery here like with a plus and minus sign here. And the loop will start there and have to go back to base just like all the other ones. There's one more loop. It's right here. It looks like a water jug almost. Start in the outline and go back to base. There's a total of ten of these loops. They could be worth anywhere from 5 points each to 10 points or a lot more. You don't know.